Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we are trialling out a new type of video. So I'm heavily relying on you guys for feedback. So I've decided to call it Calm a Chameleon. Um, my reasoning behind this is that stress, anxiety, depression shows itself in many different ways in the same way that a chameleon will express itself in different colours. So I thought this would be a nice way to bring people together, just to chill out, have a chat in the comments and yeah, see how it goes. So let's get right on into this and I will see you in the comments section. So I do have a few new products to try and the first one is this number seven airbrush away primer. It just looks a bit like a, a cream. Looks a bit like a moisturizer. I might well have put a little bit too much on there, but I did do my eyebrows first um, because they're a, a pain and I don't think it's something that everyone really wants to see. Um, I am not the best at doing eyebrows and there are plenty of tutorials out there um, which will help you out. I have next to no hair there. I over plucked and uh, it just won't grow back. This does feel a bit silicone-y, a bit slippery. Hmm. Mm. It does feel like one of those really silicone-y kind of primers. We shall see. And for foundation, um, I have the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage, which is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this. So when I saw this one, this is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation, I thought I'll give this a go because my skin's changing. It's less oily, a little bit more dry in places. So I thought we'll give this a go. The colour I got is 020 Warm Beige, so let's hope that this is a good match. Just dot that everywhere. As you've probably seen, my skin is a little bit rubbish. <laughs> so uh, it's got quite a lot to cover. So we will see. Okay, it's uh, definitely a pretty good colour match that I am happy about. I've seen a few of my friends on YouTube using this, uh, Nikki Raven being one, and uh, it just looked really nice. Yeah, I was really liking the look of it, so I thought I've got to give it a try. It's so awkward doing foundation after eyebrows. I'm not going with the concealer brush around there. <laughs> I don't know how people do this like as a, a regular thing. I suppose if you've already got eyebrows, it's a bit different. If you haven't got to actually draw the whole things on. Yeah, I think that's left quite a skin-like finish. It's not the fullest coverage. Let me just have a look at what it says. I didn't think to do that. <laughs> True skin but better, hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and watermelon seed oil leaves a perfectly even skin tone and natural matte finish. Medium to high coverage with a comfortable skin feeling. Hmm, medium to high. Let's try building it up. I put rather a lot on there. <laughs> Oops. But let's see if we can get this to full coverage. Okay, it does seem to be laying on top of itself quite nicely. Okay, yeah, I think that has actually built up really nice. Still looking like skin. Hmm, yeah, I'd say that really has built up beautifully. Hmm. So far, so good. Um, for concealer, I'm just going to go in with the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer, 18 hour hydrating. I love this one. So quickly get this on. The, oh, nearly forgot. 
For my eyebrows, I did try something new. It is the MUA Brow Define Micro Precision. I can't speak today. Eyebrow pencil. It's in the shade Dark Brown. Yeah, so I'm trialling this out to see what I think. So far, so good, but obviously we need to see how it wears. So let's just pop on some concealer. Yeah, this concealer is uh, definitely a favourite. I love this one. I just think it, it leaves a really nice natural looking finish and it works by the looks of it really well with this foundation which you would expect because they are both the uh, true skin. So I decided to uh, give a go to like makeup for calming anxiety etc. I myself suffer with quite severe anxiety and I know that in the uh, in the situation we're in there's a lot of people that are really struggling that wouldn't usually struggle and I just thought it would be nice to have like a a safe space uh, where we can chat in the comments support each other just like a little get together where we can all just chill out have a chat talk makeup you know just to forget about the worries the everything going on in the world. I just thought it would be nice that any any feedback you guys can give will be greatly appreciated. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Right, I did pick up the Revolution Fast Base Contour Set in Light. What they've done is they've picked out two of their foundation sticks and put them in a, a contour set. So, we shall see. So in the light one you get the F6 and the F11 and the F6 looks like this. Pretty much my skin tone I think. <laughs> and the F11 looks like this and it might be a bit too light for me but we are going to see. So let's, yeah I think this is definitely going to be a bit too light for me but We'll give it a go. So let's see how she blends. I think one good thing about this is like, obviously you're adding extra coverage. Um, I'm all about the coverage because my skin is very rarely, if ever, in good condition. Yeah, I definitely think this is a bit on the, the light side for me, which it's pretty good for those who are a lot fairer. Yeah, you know, I think this would be really good for someone fairer. It's blending lovely, which you would hope considering it's uh, actually a stick foundation. Now, I'm not sure that's the correct colour, but that's not bad. And then the F6 is meant to be for the highlighting. So let's put a bit where we want to highlight. Okay, well, that's definitely highlighted. Yeah, I'd pretty much say it does what it says on the box. So still on cream products, I have the Lip and Cheek Balm from Makeup by Lisa in the shade Water Lily. So this one here. And um, this isn't a first impression, um, I've used this a few times now and I absolutely love it. So, it is a winner in my book. So let's take some of this. These lip and cheek balms just blend, they melt into the skin and they just look so beautiful. And I like how they can be really built up. So this would be really good for pale skin. But then if I add some more. So I'm more of a light to medium. And then we've got a really beautiful flush of colour. 
Yeah, I'm really enjoying these. I've got it in two shades. I've got Water Lily and Plum. And just both are gorgeous colours. It's a real beautiful flush of colour. Absolutely gorgeous. So that one's a Water Lily. So for powder, I'm going in with the OPV Beauty Loose Setting Powder Translucent. Again, not a first impression. I absolutely love this. So just getting a little bit on the brush there. And just to set under my eyes. So they don't crease up straight away. I like to set all of my T-zone with a uh, smaller brush just to make sure that it controls any oils that come through and I just push the powder in. I do absolutely love this powder and then just with a big fluffy brush just set the rest of my face. So for powder contour I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Cocoa Contour and open that up and the contour shade I use is medium the one on the bottom there and on my nose I use light I absolutely love the smell of this if you are someone that um, heads for chocolate when you're feeling anxious or anything you get the smell of it it's beautiful I'm a sucker for nice smells. I know a lot of people don't like their products to smell, but as long as it's a smell I like, I'm more than happy. And I really like how this product works. It's, uh, I really like this because it just builds up. You can get the intensity that you want. It blends in lovely. I love this palette. I do have um, the Kaleidos Charisma contour, the uh, cool and light one, to try at some point. So you can expect to see that are coming up. Um, I have a new bronzer to try. So we're going to go in with that first just because we can. So this is the Kiko Unexpected Paradise Bronzer in 02 Universal Sienna. And this is what she looks like the size of that pan absolutely gorgeous that's, that's huge so just taking a bit of that and just oh okay this this one's got more pigment than uh, the other kiko one i use oh wow yeah this really does give a nice bronzed Glow, look at that. Okay. Hmm. Impressed with the bronzer. What's this one smell like? Oh, it smells like coconut. That smells beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So before we put anything else on, I'm just going to give my face a quick spray with the Makeup Obsession So Dope Fixing Spray. I just, it's the only one I use. I love it. So I just give that chance to melt in. Yes, yeah, it's definitely one I really enjoy using. I've tried a few setting sprays, not that many. I've heard some great things about the Urban Decay All Nighter, but I haven't tried that. This does what it says on the box, fixes your makeup. There's <laughs> not really much else to say, but I like it. So I quickly primed my eyes using the ABH Eye Primer, my favourite one. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Flamingo from Violet Voss. Just have a look at those shades. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I need to make a decision. Hmm. I really want to go green and blue. 
thing is this video especially is for just calming chill greens and blues are my calming colors so i'm first going to go into ocean fronts it's got a huge mirror on it i love the mirror on this and i'm just taking that on a fluffy brush from moda i'm just going to put that through my crease It's a very pastel colour. I don't know, we need to kind of pack it on and build it up a bit first, maybe. Yeah. It's a really pretty colour, though. They're just packing it on first. I've definitely found working with pastel colours, they work so much better just packed on and on a lighter base as well and of course the ABH primer is really light I think when you're using makeup to de-stress um, calm down and you know anything like that it's so important to pick colors that make you feel better make you, I don't know, colors that you enjoy playing with I love that colour. That is so beautiful. And then next I want to go into Beach Ball. It's a deep matte green. I'm just using a Spectrum A12. And, oh okay, this has got some pigment. So at the moment I'm mostly stamping it on just to get the placement and shape. And then just gently feathering the edges. Yeah, I'm definitely liking the look of that so far. So I'm just going to take a little crown smudge brush and dip into Beach Ball again. Just to bring that onto the lower lash line a little bit. I'm just pushing that right up against the lash line. This colour is so beautiful. So beautiful. I'm just making sure to connect up to the outer edge there. So the top and bottom are connected. And then I'm just going to take this... Uh, little P. Louise, P. Louise fluffy brush and dip into Ocean Front, the paler, the pastel blue and I'm just going to use that to blend over the edges there just give it a nice blend out that is pretty. And then just adding a little bit more just against the lash line. Okay. I'm really liking how that's looking so far. It's definitely making me feel good. So I'm going to nip off and pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then come back and continue with you. Okay, so for the lid, I've got a couple of uh, shades that I want to use. The first one is Tidal Wave. There we go, that one there. And I'm just taking that just on a little Morphe flat brush. See how well these pick up on the brush. And this I'm just going to be taking on... Oh, that's pretty... Just taking that on the outer part there. This brush picks up shimmer so beautifully. Look at that. That's gorgeous. 
I'm really liking these shimmers. And then on the inner part, I'm going in with Surf, which is this shade down here, which is like a, a goldy blue. And I'm going to be placing that, oh, beating up the camera, placing that where we have left open. Oh, look at that. It's a real green blue. Like, oh. I'm just tapping that over the other shimmer there a bit. Wow. It's got such a beautiful shifting colour in it. Absolutely gorgeous. And then just dipping back into the first shimmer, Beach Ball, Beach Ball, no, Tidal Wave. And just going to tap that one back over. So for the inner corner, I want to go in with Pineapple, the yellow shimmer there. I think that's going to look really, really nice. Let's have a fit. Oh, yes. And then just bringing that down onto the lower lash line a bit. And up just a tiny bit. That's really nice. Yeah, I'm happy with how that's looking. I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna nip off and finish my face and then I will come back to show you the finished look. So don't go anywhere. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below and uh, let me just let you know what else I've popped on my face. So the black eyeliner, I actually have two on. I have the Lois Cosmetics Black Fine Liner. Um, just to do the big wing. And then I've used the Altitude Cosmetics Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in one for where I wanted to stick my lashes on. The mascara is the Berry M, that's how I roll. The lashes are from Altitude Cosmetics in the style Envy. In my waterline, I have the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Extra Frosting. The blush is from Pout and Shout and it is Sensitive Sally. Beautiful orange blush. One of my favourites. Um, the highlighter I've got in with today is the Ofra Rodeo Drive. Getting quite a dip in there now. I do love that. The lipstick is from Lime Crime. It's their Lip Blaze Butter and Glaze in the shade Jade. For some reason, I just thought it would uh, go with this look. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think it was uh, taking a risk, but I really wanted to try it out. It's a really creamy formula. But yeah, so uh, I'm liking the look of it. The Flamingo eyeshadow palette from Violet Voss. Oh my word. So far, the mattes I've used blended beautifully, the shimmers are foiled and stunning. I am loving this, absolutely loving it. I've not actually heard many people talk about it, bizarrely, but I am looking forward to playing with that some more. So that's it for today. If you've liked this style of video, the meet up, chat in the comments um, as it goes live, let me know, let me know what you think and uh, we'll play it by ear. So just let me know, firstly, if it's something you'd like to see more of. And secondly, would you like it weekly, every other week or monthly? Let's have a chat. I have really enjoyed it sitting and just chilling out, trying some new makeup bits. And I'm really happy with the result. So, uh, yeah. So if you have liked this video, then please give it a like, a thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you're new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. I mainly do colourful looks um, and focus mostly on indie brands. So if that is something you would like to see more of, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. 
So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.